I hope you're all trying to stay happy and positive despite what's going on in the world. And that's gonna be the main focus of today. What I incorporate into my diet and lifestyle to stay calm, collected, and be intelligent about everything that's going on right now. So I just woke up and the first thing I did was uh, rub vitamin D3 on my ball. So if you guys haven't gotten the memo, yeah, vitamin D is important, but when you rub it on specific parts of your body, you know, as if you were out in the sun getting full body exposure, there are hormonal receptors in certain parts of your body that will actually respond. So I've noticed that if I put the vitamin D3 down there and get blood work for testosterone, it will actually change and I will feel a difference in my sex drive. Uh, whereas just rubbing it on my body or taking it orally, it's not the same effect. And, and females can do this too. You can rub it on your breast tissue, you know, above your stomach where your ovaries are. A crucial nutrient and you know it is pretty sunny outside I mean I woke up pretty late and I have some stuff to do but even in early April if it's nice and sunny outside you can get some UVB rays from about you know 11 a.m. to 2 30 p.m. so it's definitely worth your time you know if you guys aren't doing anything if it's not too cloudy outside you know go lay out in the Sun in your underwear in a bathing suit for a couple hours that's the natural alternative to taking this supplement that being said you know, not everyone can lay outside naked in the sun for a couple hours a day. And this is a main factor a lot of people are missing. You know, you can get every single thing right, but if you're not getting vitamin D3, you're not gonna feel energized, you're not gonna feel good. And this also ties into nutrient synergy. You know, if you're consuming a lot of vitamin A, if you're consuming a lot of vitamin K2, you're eating all these high fat soluble vitamin animal foods, but you're not in the sun getting vitamin D, you're gonna run into issues long term. One thing I don't mention enough is the main goal of humans, which is to reproduce. So if you don't have a high sex drive, if you don't feel good, you know, if that's not a main component of your lifestyle, you know, something's wrong. I mean, that's all really humans are supposed to do, right? If we were to have one goal. Uh, so keep in mind, when we're consuming these animal nutrients, you know, by increasing the nutrient density of our diet, by doing all these things in the lifestyle, that's really the end goal, to have the healthiest children possible, by creating the healthiest egg and the healthiest sperm possible. Uh, so let's go downstairs and uh, have the first meal. So lately I've been doing ground beef with bone broth. Uh, so this is a pound of 80-20 ground beef and this is some homemade bone broth. Uh, what I do is I either take the ground beef out the night before to throw out or like today I just let it throw out in hot water for an hour if I forgot to take it out. So while this ground beef's cooking, I'll get my supplements ready. And the three things I take every single day regardless are vitamin K2 to replicate fermented foods. Very important for vitamin synergy, calcium metabolism. Uh, this is the male virility supplement for sex drive again, testosterone boosting. And this is copper. This is very important because our ancestors would have consumed a lot of wild plant foods that were high in copper. So you want to keep your copper to zinc ratio about one milligram to 10 milligrams. Uh, and this is two milligrams per pill. So I basically take one of these with every meal I have you know, maybe uh, two milligrams per pound of beef. Uh, sometimes I will take iodine, uh, but that's just a bunch of extra, uh, extra of these because, you know, I go through them uh, maybe once every two or three months. So what I like doing is cooking the moisture out of the ground beef. And after I cook the moisture out of the ground beef, we throw this really flavorful bone broth in. Then it tastes really, really good. If there's a lot of liquid in the pan and you add the bone broth to it, it's just not as concentrated and flavorful. If you guys haven't seen my bone broth recipe from a few weeks ago, definitely check that out. It's gonna blow your mind at how good it is. Yeah, it looks good. I'm gonna turn the heat off. A couple tablespoons of broth in here. Now I'll take some salt. Maybe a pinch of salt in here. And that's good to go. Just gonna let the, the broth warm up off the heat. So here we have the ground beef with the bone broth and not really too many fat soluble vitamins, mostly B vitamins, protein, caloric energy. And if you think about it from like maybe November through April, we wouldn't have had access to super high vitamin foods. So humans are kind of meant to eat in a cyclical nature. Uh, that's why we have babies at certain times of the year naturally. You know, if you look up statistics for like birth weight, IQ, height, pretty much anything to do with being healthy. Babies that are born, you know, in June and July uh, that were conceived later in the year, that's when they're healthier. That's because the animals on pasture, the food you're eating is higher in nutrition. And then when you have the baby, the sun is out, you're getting vitamin D. So everything makes sense. And if we're able to replicate that in a way 
through our diet and lifestyle, that's the assumed healthier thing to do. And if you guys are getting sick of ground beef, adding this bone broth makes it really, really delicious. But again, that depends on the quality of the bone broth. And if you guys look back like a year or two at my old day of eatings, you'll notice I used to eat a lot more fat. And that's because that's when I wasn't bodybuilding. You know, I kept my fat to protein ratio about 80% of my calories to 20% of my calories. But now, I just eat a lot of protein. As you guys saw last time, about halfway through the meal is when I'll take the supplements. So I'll do one drop of the vitamin K2. And again, if... You know, you think you're deficient, you can always go higher. There are studies where they did like 45 milligrams per day, which is, it's very high, but you know, in a state of nutrient deficiencies, it makes sense. And here I have the, uh, the beef testes pills. I'm actually uh, going double on them today. I'm going to try twice as much for the next few weeks and uh, see if it makes a difference. Oh man. I've never swallowed that many pills without water before, and I'm never doing that again. Oh man, directly caught in my throat. So that was about a pound of ground beef, and as always, I wanna emphasize that you shouldn't be eating to fullness. You know, just eat till you're satiated. Don't stuff yourself, don't overeat. It's gonna stress your body's digestive enzyme. If you really wanna increase your calories, what you wanna do is switch up the food palatability. Now, I just ate a pound of ground beef. Now, I could probably have a couple of tablespoons of honey. I could have maybe half a cup of raw cream, a few bites of cheese. By changing up the food type, uh, you're changing up the macronutrient and the micronutrient ratio of what you're eating, and your body's going to crave different things. You know, raw dairy and honey are definitely two things I would lean towards to increasing food palatability. I used to even put honey on beef fat, and I even made a, a beef fat ice cream once. Incredibly delicious definitely something you guys could try out you know since my body can only produce so much pepsin so much stomach acid it has a limited amount of protein digestion but you know since i didn't eat a lot of fat since i didn't eat a crazy amount of carbohydrates there's still other macronutrient metabolism processes in the body that can be utilized you know how much fructose is my liver ready to process uh, how much insulin is my pancreas ready to release how much other enzymes can my body digest in the form of carbohydrates in the form of fats and I go over this in my do athletes need carbohydrates video where it does make sense to figure out what ratios of macronutrients work for you what you perform the best on and what mixture of high quality foods that are mostly animal based you can comprise most of your diet of. Uh, so this might be all we're eating today uh, I'm gonna find out uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna have a couple tablespoons of raw honey uh, then I'm gonna hydrate a little bit drink some water uh, well work out and depending on how the rest of the day goes I might have another pound of ground beef or I might not be able to I might just uh, leave it at this and yeah 95% of the days I'm having two meals but occasionally you know if I eat too much the day before or if I'm just not as active uh, I only have one meal so we had that first meal about one o'clock I wasn't gonna actually eat again today but uh, it's about 10 p.m. and I am a little bit hungry so you know we're gonna have the other pound of ground beef that I took out uh, so I do have some, you know, bone broth left uh, that we can flavor this with. Just the same thing as before. You know, I have the rest of my broth, the ground beef. We'll put some salt in there, and then I'll have the copper. I'm not going to have the K2 and the beef testes again. We're just going to do the copper this meal. That's the main difference. You know, those supplements I take in the morning, the D3, all that stuff, I do that once a day. But the copper needs to be taken consistently because you need to balance the zinc. I'm running a little bit low on bone broth, so I'm only really putting like a quarter cup in, but you know, by all means, you guys can make this like a soup. Uh, you know, you might even enjoy it a little bit more with more broth in there. Round two, ground beef and bone broth. And honestly guys, the only reason I made this video was to show you guys adding the bone broth to the ground beef because this is so tasty and delicious compared to just eating a plate full of ground beef. And I started doing this just last week. It's, it's really, you know, a step up from choking down ground beef. But as I said earlier, 
you really need a high quality beef stock or high quality bone broth because it needs to taste good in order to make this taste good. I'm actually still a little hungry, so you know maybe I'll have a couple tablespoons of uh, raw honey later as a dessert. I don't know, we'll see. Usually, even if I am hungry, it'll go away in like 20, 30 minutes. But uh, you know, since the goal is to gain weight for the bodybuilding, to give my body as much nutrition as possible, you know, I, I kind of want to eat a little bit more, especially if I have the stomach capacity for it. You know, when I usually don't. We know nutrition plays a big role in health and happiness, and there has never been a time in the world where we needed it so much. So if you can convince, you know, your family to consume more high quality animal foods, if you yourself can consume more high quality animal foods, it's going to put both our physical and mental being in a state where we can deal with all this better. So thank you guys for joining me. Uh, we just added a five pound organic uh, ground beef bundle to Frankie's Free Range Meat if you want to check that out. Uh, we might have bone broth in the next week or two. I mean, I always encourage people to make their own. As I said, check out the recipe I did a couple weeks ago, or you can even get, you know, an organic beef broth from your local supermarket if it comes to that. Uh, you can go to Organ Supplements for, you know, some of the various supplements I showed you in this video, and the rest of the stuff can be found on Amazon. Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. I don't show you guys that stuff enough, but, you know, I brush my teeth with it every day. It's the deodorant I wear. Uh, hair pomade, lip balm, all that stuff. And you can go to frank com for a free carnivore diet meal plan to get an understanding of all the nutrients you need to keep in balance. Thanks again for joining me, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day.